Earlier today, Khalema Mohlante, the South African Deputy President, met the Director General of Mineral Resources for a briefing session. Before sitting down with some union representatives and other stakeholders on the sidelines of the Lukhotla in Johannesburg, there is unhappiness in certain union circles, specifically with Lonmin and its agreement with AMCO. Lonmin has not only undermined an existing agreement, they have undermined the rights of a group of workers who did not belong, belong to lower categories of workers. That's why solidarity could exist there is because they were representing a class of workers who are within a particular group. The Lonman Agreement has left a bad taste in the mouths of some unionists, but the Chamber of Mines suggests that the stakeholders understand the big picture. The important thing is to look beyond the rhetoric and understand the substance of the conversations that we have. We are, as a country, a teenage democracy, but in terms of the debate, I think there is much more maturity than appears at the surface. Some business leaders suggest that South Africans may be their own worst enemies. We tend to be very critical of each other. There's a long history of contest, debate, a lot of energy about mining in South Africa from the key three constituents, Labour, government and, and the mining industry itself. Despite this, there is growing concern amongst union members. We are worried because while we have said to our employees, notwithstanding that they are being attacked, that they are being killed, we should still work within the law. While the first day of the Lakhotla has been characterized by people talking about maturity and honesty, we heard this afternoon that Lonmin has had a complaint lodged against it by Solidarity, one of the minority unions that is no longer recognized by the mine. This is going to lead to issues because Solidarity and NUM feel very aggrieved by the fact that they cannot represent their workers on the Lonman mine. I'm Angelo Coppola for CCTV in Johannesburg.